Hey guys and welcome back to the final video regarding this mini series about booting OS 10 and Windows on external storage solutions, USB 3.0 and Thunderbolt. And I mean final video because I just finished up recording the OS 10 version of this particular video and you can find it right over here. And on my opinion, both videos will complement each other so we can get a bigger picture of what we can and what we can't do with these type of storages. Now, that being said, I'll post on the screen the chapters that I will be cover on this particular video about Windows 8 and 10 on external uh, storage solutions and I'm talking about Thunderbolt on this particular case. For those that already watched the OS X uh, video, just skip the installation uh, and the computers and drives used on the test, which are the first two chapters, and go directly to the third chapter, which is boot speed tests on Windows 8 and 10 on both MacBook Pro and on the iMac. And finally, is Thunderbolt worth it, especially the StoreJet 500, which is the only storage solution that I've tried so far, both with USB 3.0 and Thunderbolt connection. And that being said, let's go straight for the video. And here we are on chapter one, which is installation of Windows 8 or 10 on a Thunderbolt solution like the Transcend StoreJet 500. And I just want to mention that unlike OS 10, which is pretty straightforward, Windows 8 or 10 installation on an external drive can be a bit of a headache. And I did run into a few problems and I took my notes over here so I didn't miss any of these steps. And just to mention that I will be sharing a video very soon, uh, step by step, uh, from the beginning up to the end how to install Windows so you don't run into the same problems that I had and you have a clean installation on that side of the screen. But to keep this video as clean as possible, this is the only thing that I will be mentioning. I will be creating a video just for that. So that being said, let's go for the next chapter. And here we are on the second chapter, which is machines or computers used and drives used. Now, I'll post on the screen very quickly. The machines we used were the iMac late 2013 base model. Well, not really the base model right now. Uh, nonetheless, that's the computer that we are going to check. And also the MacBook Pro early 2013, 13 inch base model. And the drives are the Transcend StoreJet Thunderbolt solution. And I also uh, did test out with USB 3.0, but I will talk more about that on the fourth chapter. Chapter. So very quick chapter, this second chapter right over here. Let's move on for the next one. And here we are on the third chapter, which is one of the most interesting chapters, at least on my opinion, which is a speed test on the MacBook Pro and on the iMac. And I'll post on screen those results. So you can see on the top, the MacBook Pro with Windows 8 and Windows 10. Uh, on the left, Windows 8 takes 21 seconds to boot. And on the right, Windows 10 takes 17 seconds to boot. And on the bottom, you will see the iMac late 2014 with Windows 8, 24 seconds to boot. And the iMac, with, uh, iMac late 2014 with Windows 10 takes 24 seconds to boot. Now, my best guess right over here, uh, on these differences that we see is just because the MacBook Pro has Thunderbolt 2 and the iMac late 2014 has Thunderbolt 1. So you will see a difference there, but not that huge. As you can see, a few seconds, just uh, Windows 8 takes three seconds less on the MacBook Pro than on the uh, iMac and Windows 10 there we can see a, a bigger difference 17 so we have seven seconds of difference from the MacBook Pro with Thunderbolt 2 and on the iMac with Thunderbolt 1 and that being said let's go for the final chapter and here we are on the final chapter which is is it worth it or not to get a solution like this like the StoreJet 500 or not to boot Windows 8 or 10 and this is a bit unfair chapter because this is the only solution at least on the external side of things that I did found uh, to be able to use as a boot drive for Windows and also as a boot drive for OS 10 and both but you will have more info as you could see this video is very short you will have more info once again on the OS 10 uh, version of this particular video so is it worth it it is totally worth it. it is the only solution that i did found was thunderbolt and i can share with you that i already tested with uh, usb as well and i'll show you on screen now the installation goes uh, exactly the same as i did with the thunderbolt uh, solution but once you boot the machine into os 10 and then uh, to windows so two or three times on OS 10, os 10 and then two or three times on windows the uh, files will become corrupted and you will have no longer uh, the windows running smoothly on usb and i would also like to share that once the files become corrupted corrupted sorry on the usb side of things 
even if you connect it through Thunderbolt, and I did that experience with this Torjet 500, it will not boot any longer. Uh, it will give you that blue screen that I'd show you on the, on the screen over there, and that will be it. So no, uh, there is no possible solution to boot from you a USB uh, unless you want to play around with it uh, just for a couple of times and then you will lose your Windows installation. On the Thunderbolt side of things, everything runs smoothly and I will show you soon, as soon as possible, the way that I did to install Windows on this Thunderbolt solution. And one more thing that I'd like to mention, more info about uh, if you should invest or not in a Thunderbolt solution, it is also possible to see on the OS uh, side of this particular video, or the OS version of this particular video. And that being said, guys, hopefully, honestly, hopefully that this video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that thumbs up over there. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.